Our green stock is all ready to go. I think the boiling water helped with the fungus gnats because I really have not seen any. I've seen, well, I should say I've seen a couple, but not, not so bad. But what I'm gonna do now is, um, it, it says to fill to each line, to fill to the top. And I think I didn't pack it down enough because there's a lot of space. So I just took a, a, a pot and I put in a bunch of peat moss, uh, one and a half cups of vermiculite, one and a half cups of perlite, two times one and a half cups rounded manure, mixed it all around. And I'm just gonna put it a little bit in each pocket and, and mix it in just so that it's more to the top. Then I'm actually, I just read, uh, someone had a post in one of the gardening sites about the fungus gnats and uh, cinnamon. So I'm gonna try to put cinnamon on each pocket and see if that helps with the fungus gnats as well. So as soon as I'm done with that, then I'm gonna start putting the seeds in there. This is what I'm going to be growing in my green stalk vertical garden for the spring in the cool weather season. What, you can't read everything? <laughs> I'll go through the actual seed packets. Then we'll get back to my spreadsheet. We've got some arugula baby greens. Regular arugula, same, rocket. Market Express turnips. I went with things that had a short uh, growth time so that um, when the warm weather comes, I can be done with the cool weather crops and plant the warm weather in the beginning of May. So this is 30 to 40 days for this turnip. Premier Blend Kale. Baby Greens Apple Blossom Swiss Chard Blend. Some Calendula Pot Marigold Zeolites. That is uh, something you can plant in the cooler weather, it says. Mizuna Mustard. Mostly greens, you'll see. Uh, baby Greens, Superfoods Baby Greens. These are ready in 23 to 35 days, so that gives me plenty of time before um, May 7th is when I'm planning to put all my outdoor uh, summer crops, and today is May, uh, March 27th, so I've got plenty of time. This is a Rainbow Mix Swiss chard. More Baby Greens, spinach. And most of the baby greens I'm gonna put on the top tier, and then the larger things I'll put on the bottom tiers. Some Bloomsdale spinach. Uh, some other Bloomsdale spinach from the Rusted Garden. Some lettuce, uh, mus mesclun chef's choice. A micro greens mix I got from Amazon last year from Harley Seeds. I know there was a lot of drama about making sure to know where your seeds are coming from when you get them from Amazon last year, but these did say that they were in the US. Wasabi arugula, which I'm really excited to try. Some endive, Olesh Trefin. This one is 42 to 70 days. The other two endives were closer to 60 days, so I'm gonna put those in my leaf garn, uh, green stalk, which I plan to keep with greens as long as they need to. But this, um, the five tier one, I'm going to replace with some warmer weather crops when I can. The Snapdragon Magic Carpet Blend. Some Sugar Bond Snap Peas. These are uh, bush, small bush snap peas. More baby greens, Market Day Lettuce Mesclun. And then some Tom Thumb peas, which are also uh, small bush peas. Some uh, mescaline lettuce that I got as a thank you when I placed my order with botanical interests. And then lastly, some more mescaline lettuce, Chef's Medley. So that's what we're gonna put in our green stock for the spring season. Now this, so this spreadsheet, um, I'll tell you, there is such a thing as too much planning. I started by putting little labels on each of the pockets of the green stalk when I was planning. Then after I put the dirt in, I put all the wooden sticks out, but I lost some of the labels because I didn't use great labels. And you know, I'm a spreadsheet person, but for some reason it never occurred to me to just put it on a spreadsheet. So that's what I did uh, this weekend and now I'm ready. And then um, up above, I put the summer. So when I'm done with the spring, I'll know what to, uh, put there in the summer in those same pockets. And then I do have a couple other tabs. Uh, I credit my friend Joe. Uh, again, I'm a spreadsheet queen and I didn't think about it, uh, but this is a chart for what I'm going to be planting as seed starts later on. So I got all my spreadsheets ready now. I know what I'm putting in each of my green stocks. I know what I'm putting in my dollar store towers that I'll talk about. And then each of my um, seed starting trays. This is the one I uh, already, nope, 
it's not the one I already started. That one I'm doing, this is Cool Crops that I'm gonna be doing hopefully today. And then I still have to do this 72 cell one. And then this is my cucumbers and squash, which I'll, and melons, which I'll be doing next week. So lots to do, <laughs> stay with us. I've got Apple Blossom Swiss Chard Blend Baby Greens that I'm putting in the top tier of my green stalk. They'll be ready in 20 to 35 days. You can also sow them indoors any time of year, but they'll be ready in 20 to 35 days, which is great because I'm doing cool weather crops now on March 27th and then May 7th when I plan on planting everything for the summer, I'll be able to, this will be done and I'll be able to replace it. And these packets from Botanical Interest are great because they, well, most do. Most packets will tell you how long will it take to emerge, the seed depth, seed spacing, thinning, maturity. And what's great about these botanical interests, I don't know if you can see inside, they have like a whole bunch of additional information about harvesting, sometimes there's recipes. Unfortunately, I don't know how to get to it without ripping the package open, so I have done that a couple times. But anyway, so I'm gonna plant these a half inch deep, three quarter inches apart. And I'm new to the whole seed starting, so if you've got any comments, or tips, please uh, comment down below. I've only gardened from the plants from the food, from the garden store or the big box store, so this is totally new. So I'm learning as I go along and uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. <laughs> and I've got all my tags. What I did is I went through and I labeled, you definitely want to label. You think you're going to remember what it is just by looking at it, but you won't. So I labeled my cool crop uh, planted here on this side. So I got my apple blossom. And then when, uh, when I replace it, it's going to be Tulsi basil. So I might actually turn these the other direction for now, but that way I know what to plant later on. And I don't have to go through this again because I planned it all on my spreadsheet, which you may have seen already. If not, you'll see soon. Okay. All right, what's next? It's dark, it's almost eight o'clock, but I finished planting the seeds in my green stalk. Um, so much fun. Some of the seeds are so tiny, it got a little difficult to see them as it got darker. Uh, for some reason I planted everything except for my bok choy seeds because I don't know where they went. And I had pulled all the seeds out and set them up in the order I needed to put them in to make it easy and not too confusing because it's really confusing with all these pockets, but yet so awesome. So um, I couldn't find the bok choy seed, so I'll have to do that one tomorrow. But everything else is in there uh, and I just can't wait to see everything grow. And uh, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to water because we haven't hooked up the hose yet for the season. So I'm going to have to do it manually and frankly I'm tired. I hope that's not a mistake. I think they'll be okay until tomorrow, but please tell me. Comment down below if um, if it requires immediate watering. I know I'm kind of a week early on some of this stuff anyway, so I figure I'm taking my chances and we'll see what happens. Everything's an experiment. I'm still new to this, or renew. <laughs> we used to garden, but it was never this intense. Um, and it's been a it's been many years, not many years, but at least uh, at least ten probably since uh, we were we had a great garden at our old house and I'm excited to get this going again. So we'll see what happens. Talk to you soon.